The Department of Justice's Inspector General report finally came out yesterday. It found fault with former FBI Director James Comey, saying that he did not follow normal protocol at the agency. But it also says the investigation into Hillary Clinton's email server was not affected by political bias. Members of Congress, as well as the current FBI director, commenting on the findings yesterday. These are emails or text messages that somebody held from us. So every day that goes by, there is a new example of obstruction of a congressional investigation. There's no doubt that this was not proper process, and the report shows time and time again how Director Comey and others made mis mistakes, errors in judgment, or deliberate. People can draw their own conclusions. This report did not find any evidence of political bias or improper considerations actually impacting the investigation under review. Chris Ray, I'm sorry, you're wrong. Chris, there are consequences. The consequences are that your fellow citizens question whether or not they can have confidence in the world's premier law enforcement agency. Here with me now this morning, Robert Ray, former Whitewater Independent Counsel and former federal prosecutor. We've also got Mark Penn. He's a former Clinton advisor, Stagwell Group president, and author of the book Microtrends Squared. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for being here this morning. I mean, a, a heck of a 500 pages, this report, Robert. But I want to start with you as a lawyer. What do you make, just uh, from a general sense, of the findings of the Inspector General report? From a general sense, the, uh, I think the takeaway is that in my mind, there was a colossal failure of leadership from the president on down into uh, the workings of the FBI during the course of the investigation. And the fact that certain people felt so uncomfortable about how to handle this significant matter and caused you know, downstream consequences, including uh, you know, the person, I guess, more than any other who was singled out for criticism, Jim Comey, to do things that were, you know, outside his lane, largely because other people, including the attorney general and the deputy attorney general, didn't seem to be prepared to do what they should have been doing, which was their jobs. So, it, you know, it, it, the, the overall uh, review of the 500 page plus page report, it, it's disappointing to see what happened. I, the, the Department of Justice and the FBI will obviously survive this, uh, but there are a number of people uh, during the course of the investigation who were singled out for criticism, and deservedly so. And then, of course, it all obviously raises some important questions about uh, bias, where I, obviously both sides have yeah. takeaways in terms of, you know, what they see the significance of that being. Uh, but it is, you know, it's disheartening is, is what, and disappointing. Yeah, that's the thing, Mark. It's a tough day for the FBI, really. I mean, there's some really damning findings in this report. But it, as he was just mentioning, Robert was, Mark, Loretta Lynch. There was criticism of Loretta Lynch in this report. There was, there was these unnamed agents and an unnamed lawyer uh, that, that their, their messages, their communications were revealed. And there, there was incredible bias against President Trump, then candidate Trump. All of that really, I guess, just makes it a tough day for the FBI, and it seems like they've got to really work on credibility at this point. Well, I, I think that's right. I, I think that there was a, a very broad culture of bias here when you take a look at, at what the Inspector General has found. Uh, there are all sorts of agents leaking all over the place, even accepting sporting tickets. Uh, the number two at the FBI doesn't recuse himself despite his his wife receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars of contributions and then does recuse himself but doesn't follow uh, the, re the recusal. And then there are scores of texts here uh, exhibiting real animus with, of course, this new text, of course, will stop it, uh, <clears throat> becoming a real headliner of the report. And then, and then Comey himself is outright insubordinate. He yeah. is decided that he is going to decide this matter and he's not even going to tell the attorney general what he's going to do. The attorney general should have stepped up and fired him that day. There's no excuse for the FBI director to usurp the power of the Justice Department. She knew it, and she didn't act. All right. Well, Mark, you know, one of the revelations in this report is this text from FBI agent Peter Strzok, 
the agent at the center of so much of this. He responded to his girlfriend, Lisa Page, and I, I want to show our viewers this and get your reaction, Mark. Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Question mark. And Strzok says, no, no, he's not. We'll stop it. President Trump just tweeting uh, FBI agent Peter Strzok, who headed the Clinton and Russia investigations, texted to his lover, Lisa Page, uh, that will stop candidate Trump from becoming president doesn't get any lower than that. Mark, again, how could something like this not affect the investigation or at least be classified as political bias? Well, the, the inspector general's report is interesting because while he says there wasn't political bias that he could find in the Hillary Clinton investigation, he points to this suggesting that struck could well have been quite biased in his attitudes towards the Trump Russia investigation. And in fact, behind the the reason that that he in fact prioritized the Russia Trump investigation and then ignored uh, the uh, Carlos Danger laptop emails for almost a month I think he really suggests that there could have been real bias here against Trump and by struck in particular and that that was an incredibly embarrassing statement mm -hmm. that he made that really dishonors the FBI. I think the inspector general is clear about that. Yeah, he was very clear, Robert. And I want to get your take on, you know, Bill Clinton is now responding. He's offended. Bill Clinton, former president, over, over the attacks that are being lobbed against him, of course, because that tarmac meeting between him and Loretta Lynch, uh, and the fact that Loretta Lynch has been criticized in the report that that was, that was inappropriate. That was poor judgment on Loretta Lynch's part. Two key players in this. And then, of course, you know, the, the, on the backdrop of the other, you know, clear examples of bias, uh, Robert, which we've just talked about. Right. Well, President Clinton is too... Uh, easily offended because that that meeting was inappropriate. Everybody recognized that was so. Indeed, Loretta Lynch at the time obviously recognized that it was so, and it seriously uh, uh, compromised um, the position of the attorney general, and in large measure, at least in part, uh, led to the mess that everybody found themselves in. The vacuum that was created, the as I suggested. Um, the colossal failure of leadership that caused Jim Comey to do something that he probably shouldn't have done. But it's understandable that he stepped out of lane because nobody up else stepped up to the plate and did their jobs. And, you know, while, uh, you know, Mark is right to suggest that the attorney general, um, you know, may well have, in the, with the benefit of hindsight, taken action to fire Jim Comey at that time, you know, more importantly, she didn't step in to control the situation, which is what she should have done, or alternatively, and the report makes this clear, she should have recused herself and stepped aside yeah. and let that decision be made by either uh, the deputy attorney general, then Sally Yates, or someone else who could fill the role, which would have uh, resulted in the appointment of a special counsel, none of which was done, and all of which, uh, you know, is sort of a cascading effect of a bunch of bad decisions you know, didn't do very well, frankly, by the American people. And certainly, you know, with regard to the, uh, the investigation, the two investigations that were pending, uh, frankly, didn't do well by Hillary Clinton or by Donald Trump. And Donald right. Trump, the president now, is, is quite right uh, to suggest that, you know, evidence of bias within the FBI um, is more than just disheartening. It's dangerous. A lot of work for Chris Wray, the current FBI director, to really kind of reform and kind of rebuild, frankly, a somewhat seems a, a broken agency at this point. Robert Ray, Mark Penn, thank you so much for your perspective on that report. Uh